Do you ever click on a link to a Word, Excel, or PowerPoint file, expecting it to open in the desktop app, but it opens in your browser instead? That might not sound like a big deal, but if you work with Office files all day like I do, those extra clicks really add up, and it's really frustrating. You have to wait for the file to open in the browser, then hunt for the Edit in the Desktop app option, close out the message box, then close out the browser tab you didn't want in the first place. This slows down your workflow and creates daily friction over something that should feel seamless. But here's the good news. There's a quick setting you can change that will make your Office files open directly in the desktop apps by default all the time. This means no more annoying browser tabs, no more extra clicks, and no more wasted time. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to set this up. Here I'm in Microsoft Teams, but it works much the same way if you're in Microsoft SharePoint or in OneDrive. So I have a simple Excel file here. I'm gonna click to open. And when I do this, it opens up in a browser. And it's fine to work from a browser, but I have an Excel desktop app and I much prefer to work out of the desktop app. So then what I have to do is go to editing, choose open in desktop, and then I get this message. Click on open in Excel. And I'd have to close this browser tab because I don't want to resume editing here. So that's a couple of extra steps that I have to take just to have the file open in an Excel native app. Now, another way to do this would be if you were to click on the three dots, click on open, and then you can choose open an app and that'll open in the Excel file. But you'd have to do this every time with every file. What I much prefer to do is if you were to go to settings, so go to the three dots, go to settings, and then under files and links, you can actually change the default so that whenever you have Word, PowerPoint, or Excel file, you can have it open directly in the desktop. Now I'm gonna go back to OneDrive. Now when I click to open the file, the file opens up directly in Excel. Now I'm in SharePoint and I have two files here. So for SharePoint, you have to go to the settings cog, go to library settings, go to more library settings, then advanced settings. I know it's buried deep in the menu. And then here, opening documents in the browser, you have the default behavior that you can set. You want to choose open in the client application, not in the browser or use the server default. That will also open in the browser. So make sure that you have open in the client application checked. And when you do that, and you click to open the document, it'll open up in Word. Okay, in this last example, I'm in OneNote, and when I click on the link to a file, of course, it's gonna open up in the web browser. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Here, I have no option to go into settings to have links and files open up in their native app. So what I would have to do is force it. And how you do that is you can right mouse click on the link and go to edit link, or you can hit control K as a shortcut. And then that'll bring up your link dialog box. You have the actual full URL that takes you to the file. In front of the HTTP, you want to paste this code. ms dash word colon o f E, pipe U, then pipe. And this is gonna be different if you're opening up a PowerPoint documentation and if you're opening up an Excel documentation. I'm gonna put the actual text on the screen here so you can copy it and I'll link it in the description below as well. But now when I do this, when I add this prefix to the actual link to the file and hit okay, now when I click on this link, 
it's going to open directly in the application. So you can do this not only in OneNote, but wherever you want to store your links to a file in any note application of your choosing, you can just add the prefix that I'm sharing with you here, and it'll ensure that the files always open in their native desktop app. Okay, that's it for today's quick video. If you found it helpful, give it a quick like and subscribe for more practical productivity tips. And of course, feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have other office pet peeves, please drop it in the comments below and I'll consider making a video about it in the future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.